come on, you go. Tell that stupid map. <laughs> to hurry it up. Find us a quicker route, maybe? You know what? If you're just going to keep on me a stupid map, I'll just stop helping. I mean, it would be quicker if you guys could fly, but I don't see any dragons. Damn it! I can technically fly, but that will be exhausting carrying all of you. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, n n nothing. Nothing really. It's just that, uh, uh, with the excess weight and all. Are you calling us overweight? Ava, uh, Malia, that is not what I meant. I'm just saying all our weight collectively, along with mine, will be very. Sh Daddy, did you just shush, shush me? Yes. Do I need to kick your ass? Shh. <coughs> what? Don't you hear that? Hear what? Someone calling for help. Sounds like a woman. What? It could be a princess. Dali, we already have a princess who needs our help. We don't need any more. Silence! <laughs> Why don't you have a bronze pair on you? Dali running off to go see who needs saving. Izuku. Follow him. Get ready to kick the ever-loving shit out of his ass. In which, as soon as they do get there, Dally does get captured. And just... <sighs> okay. No, forget it, forget it. What happened? He got himself captured in a trick. Don't worry, I'll, I'll save him. Wait, what if you get captured? Oh, come on. I'm the strongest out of all of you. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what I thought. As Izuku starts climbing, as soon as he sees the lady princesses, he's like... Ooh! I have so many jokes, but not... Now's the time. Have you seen... Uh, Someone named Sir Personal. Well, you mean that? Yep. Yes. Why do you want him? It is because he's my child and companion, and I, you know, <sighs> I need to get him back. Well, maybe we can work out a deal. Say what? If you kiss us, wait, what? We'll let him go. Okay, I would really not really mind kissing the woman, but uh, trading a kiss for a friend. Actually, that doesn't sound too bad. Wait, is there a catch to this? Well, there typically is. It has to be a genuine feeling of love or something like that. If I just met you. H how does that work? We have no idea. <sighs> okay, I figured. So, if it's not a genuine feeling of love or whatever, what happens then? You turn into a frog. What? Oh damn, I now got to rethink this whole kiss thing. Or at least I would like to actually get to know you guys before I even do, or, you know. Hmm. Well, a pity. If they try to capture him, <laughs> Yeah, Sir Percival was easy enough to take on, so real no no real issues there. But Izuku can be the loving shit out of them quite easily. Yeah, I do mean easily. 
is they're pretty much complaining. He's like, what the hell? How are you? Why are you being such a jerk? Uh, a jerk, you say? Let me. <clears throat> let me tell you the ways that I have been taught. Anyone can kiss these hands, no matter race, gender, or age. I do go easier on children, but still. What? You would fight a woman? Yes. But, but, but that's, that's so, what? That's so mean. I've seen enough women beat the ever loving crap out of a guy to know that they can handle themselves given the right training as well as they actually, you know, don't want to be seen as weaklings. And you guys, considering you must have tried this before, I'm pretty sure that you, uh, you're not weaklings. <clears throat> so, if you were to choose, who would you? Um, uh, I would most likely choose someone strong. That's me. <clears throat> who said that? I. <clears throat> <clears throat> huh. Okay. That's... Huh. Okay. So I guess I'll get to know you first. Sure. Yeah. Okay, God. Oh, God, I'm scared. As soon as you go and the others actually do try to... To break in, they do the same shit. As they see Zuku, they like, wait. Why aren't you trying to break free? Like, Ugh. I don't know how I got roped into this. Let's just not talk about it. As soon as whole beauty pageant crap actually does go on, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Izuku's trying his best not to laugh. <laughs> Since he knows and that your brain dally is still an idiot among idiots. Izuku's the only one who's truly enjoying himself. He's just like, okay, okay, okay. Wait, I'll be right uh where's the bathroom? Over there. Thank you. As he gives her a kiss to say, <laughs> before he leaves and this it falls where it falls into the gray area as the curse is broken so as soon as the Suku breaks out of the bathroom he just wait where where is she oh I'm right here Wait, will you kiss me? It must have fit under the guidelines of the curse. What? Yeah. Are you shitting me? Yep. Okay, okay. So now what? We're free to go? Yeah. You know, you have to stay if you don't want to. But it was very sweet that you actually decided to give me a chance. Sure, hell, wait, are you still strong? I don't know, I never had to do any fighting. Hmm, I might be back. Maybe. As they pretty much wave off and Dally, feeling like a complete idiot, as he should. He's also disappointed. <laughs> How, how is he? 
It's so unfair how easy it is to go is the hero of all this. I'm not really a hero. I didn't really do much besides get to know someone and give them a kiss on the cheek. That's all I did. Yes, and you are a hero. At least to them you are. Eh. I don't really see much of a big deal out of it. As that's how the episode Ugly, the Ugly Pageant <laughs> ends. Because the next episode, Izuku is, though he does want to help the Puggles, the Puddles, uh, he knows they might be pressed for time when it comes to Knox. In which, it's kind of interesting. He trains them the best he can. Only thing is, he has to hold back out of fear of accidentally killing them. Because to Dally, he's just pissed that Izuku is pretty much hogging the spotlight of being a true hero. And what comes to the Tars, Tars, or whatever the hell, ever you say that. He's a good boy. Pretty much one shots him. He one shots them all. And when it comes to the mom, she does show up and she is pissed that someone is being the overland crap out of her sons and husband. So, which one of you hurt my babies and my idiot husband? I did it. So it was you, yes. Come on. I'm about to throw hands. Really? Because you look stronger than the rest of them. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> you are. Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Huh. You are... Interesting. Thank you. And... It's a one side of fight. Izuku is more nimble. He's more agile and faster as well as stronger than her as well. So she has to concede defeat. Because the Vampiro episode sadly Izuku can't go all out because they're just being controlled. But as soon as he finds out that he, there's someone that he can go all out against, he's more than happy to bust through everything. He destroys the doors, he destroys the castle. I mean, you guys should just take the wi ring away. And, can I just break it? What? No, 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 please don't do that. Hey, Rubilex, what is it? If I were to make a portal to your dimension. Can I just drop it there? Yes, yeah, but she'd be completely defenseless. Hmm, that actually might be worth it. What? Well, you said she's stronger than you, which, hell, I would like her to be an ally, but eh, she seems to be too evil. Hell, even now, I really have to consider breaking you. You're serious? Yeah. Y you consider breaking me? Uh huh. But, but we're allies. Yes, but you are a shushu, an evil demon bent on, you know, controlling your uh, guardian. Not to mention you are evil and always try to convince him. You get what I'm saying? Yes. I, I... But how about you just hold on to it until we find a more suitable guardian? Sure, why not? Wait, but I'm the... You... Are a fool! You got lonely. I can understand that. You got lonely. However, when it comes to, <sighs> how about this, take a break, stop being a guardian, 
stop all this loneliness crap, okay? What? Yeah, j just have a family. Get a girlfriend. You know, her, her, make her your wife for the right reasons. You know, have kids. You know. Seriously, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, uh, are you relieving me of my duties as a guardian to pursue happiness? Yeah, pretty much. Thank you. Uh, don't mention it. Alright, don't. Just, just don't. Yes. As far as this, the Poisonous Beauty episode, Amalia does not end up getting bitten. It said it's actually Izuku because he's the one who wants to stay back and deal with them using air pressure. Mistakenly firing one straight towards him and him getting infected. When he tries to stab the blood out, everyone is telling him that is a dumb idea. After learning how dangerous this stuff actually is, Izuku is technically forced, and I do mean they have to actually force him not to join Yugo and Rule to collect the sap. It doesn't really work well considering he's the strongest member. How does it? And yeah, he finds his way through float and one for all straight towards Rule and Yugo. Them pissed, well, at least Yugo is. Highly upset, and rules like, oh, thank God, that's less of work for me to do. Hmm, not to mention, the more hands, the more sap we can collect, and the more money we could possibly make. Izuku repeating exactly what rules said, as if he was reading his mind. And you could just imagine their surprise. To see that, yeah, Izuku is still hella powerful, about, despite being crazy weakened. So it's a lot easier for them to actually find the tree as well as collect the sap. Izuku and Rule collecting more than enough. And since it is Amelia, she's pretty much like, uh, so what are we supposed to do now that the patient has escaped? I could always use some help making more medicine. As soon as they get back, they see Izuku is, yeah, he's alright, no real issues. In fact, they click so much sap that Izuku is more than happy since he is not a complete, uh, he hasn't been completely corrupted by rules, Eutroph mentality. He gives at least half, which is, he has 20 in total, he gives 10 to the nice lady. Yeah. And she is super happy the fact that not only did her shop not receive any damage, also for the fact, oh, he just gave her the, the set for free. Which rule, he's just... I thought you would have learned by now, boy. I'm not a drop. I'm not a complete ass. You have so much to learn. And that's how that ends. When it comes to the baker, Izuku obviously can tell. Yeah, there may be similarities to the, the bandit as well as uh, the poor, uh, the poor, poor baker's father. <laughs> but he also realizes, like, yeah, there are some clear differences. But, as far as the ease of making the dough and everything else, it's still possible. With Zuku helping, it's even more simple. They still win. Izuku does get some a few looks considering hell he doesn't look too bad he's just more uh you could say 
distinguished. But when it comes to the genie, you're going to have to wait until the next part now, won't you?